Good morning. My name is Santiago Botero. Um, I'm going to do the presentation about the research trends and dynamics that we were supposed to do after the readings of the lectures and papers we had. This is for the degree work seminar and we are in the 2021 second semester. So uh, the key topics uh, in the research IB agenda that we were supposed to read uh, I took a few elements after the readings. The first one is uh, clarifying the topic that I'm going to be focusing on. It's going to be the International Business Review. Uh, I really like this topic because it's directly related to the whole IB environment. So basically this touches every single point that relates to the IB in the world, not only as the study, but as the application itself. Um, after that, we're going to see the few topics that I review. First of all, the properly integration of all the parties involved. This is something that I'm going to be touching later to be more deep into it. The innovation part, which is something very important nowadays. The governmental involvement which is related to the first point and the contribution to society, which is the main objective of the study itself. Um, the methodologies uh, that I found in the papers that we had in common, um, it was the first of one, the multinational enterprises companies based. This is a study that is based on real life scenarios uh, it's a very, very effective way of uh, studying and of applying new papers into the IB environment. Um, second, we saw that the, the studies are conducted in isolation with no contribution to non-business areas. This is something that it's a challenge to afford and a challenge to change into the future because the idea of the IB is to contribute to society and not only to international business itself and some people perceive it. Um, a, a different methodology that we saw, it's not bringing solution to public policy challenges. Uh, this is something that uh, some papers had in common as well. They proposed some theories that were pretty good like on the paper but at the end uh, of the day, uh, it didn't bring any like real solutions to some problems that society are facing right now. Uh, and the last one are the special theories. It's something related to what I just mentioned. Uh, our theories that they're like paper based and they're pre-guided on theories that have been developing through the past of the years, but they don't like go after the paper just like on the theory but at the time of putting in practice is not as much as effective as it should be um then uh we have the commonalities in the research uh conducted by the ib journals um first of all that i found that there's a lack of integration from different parts that belong to the environment that surrounds companies this is a pretty common and usual mistake in the IB papers that I read is that usually the people mainly focuses on only like the company itself, not taking into account the rest of the parts that a company belongs to. There's a society, there's an environment, there's an external and internal factors in the company that we must take into account. And this is something that definitely it's missing. The papers need to be integrated to whole parts to make like a realistic scenario and a realistic paper of how the international business are going to affect and are going to help the world evolve to better uh, life. Uh, I also saw that the IB journals are based on different disciplinary traditions. Uh, a lot of papers that have been developed through the past of the years a lot of different theories that has been uh, evolving in the last years uh, and less uh, so that there's focus on solving real world issues related to the impact of policies 
to our multinational enterprises, real scenarios. This is related to the first point that I touched as well. Uh, it's about being realistic. Uh, then we have how does research and IB contribute to the practice? Uh, it contributes in different aspects such as innovation, development of, of plans for the future. It helps companies and related parts to be proactive instead of reactive. This is something that COVID-19 taught us very well, very hard way. Uh, it also helps with the sustainability and allows the adaptation to the environmental circumstances. Last, we have the key opportunities and challenges for researchers in the IB field. We have contributing with opportunities, opportunities and risk identification. This is a very key topic here because uh, having a good IB field investigation will help us a lot as society and not only as a company to identify possible opportunities to be better at. Um, being more inclusive with the non-business related areas, as I mentioned before, not only companies itself are the ones directly related to the IB studies. Uh, then we have helping society with the coming, with coming challenges, different aspect, aspects that we can afford this point. Uh, then we have the uh, ad to address society to grant challenges. And last of all, we have clarification of interaction between the companies and their environment. Uh, thanks for your time.